Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing dumper reminders. I provide audio and email coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details, www.dateme.tips. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast and today we are discussing dumper reminders. So if you are a dumpy, I would like you to type into the comments what you believe is the biggest trigger to make you think of your ex the dumper. And I want you to type that in and continue to listen to this podcast Because as we go forward into it, as we get towards the end, I will be letting you know the results of a poll which I posted in my community tab asking dumpies that very question. I had five different options, including one which was other and where dumpies could type in the box what they believe specifically was the biggest trigger if it was not one of the other four options. And hence, I want you now to type into the comments of this YouTube video what you believe is the biggest trigger for you. And then you can see as we get forward and we get through this podcast, whether what you type actually matches what the most common answer was. And we'll be able to see whether this all collates. So it's important to say that a trigger for a dumper is the same for a trigger as a dumpy. So... I am asking you as the dumpy to type into the comments what you believe is the biggest trigger to make you think of your ex. But this is also likely to be the same trigger that makes your ex the dumper think of you. So when I'm doing this podcast, Dumper Reminders, it is because it comes from both angles. If you are listening as a dumpy, then this will not only enable you to protect yourself by thinking, okay, if this is going to cause me the biggest pain, if this is going to cause me the most reminders of my ex, during this difficult period of being a stage one dumpy, I'm going to try to avoid that type of situation. Not only will it enable you to protect yourself in this way, it will also enable you to understand what triggers are most likely going to cause your ex to think of you. So it kind of works from both angles. Now, as I've just said, if you are a stage one dumpy in particular, then this is going to be very helpful indeed. Because when you are a stage one dumpy, you are thinking of your ex 24-7, you are really, really going through the difficult grind. And anything you can do to relieve some tension, some stress and some pain is going to be beneficial for you. So as we go through this podcast and we go through what was the most common trait, what was the most common trigger for a dumpy to be thinking of their ex, you can just try to make sure that you don't put yourself in that position because therefore you can alleviate that extra pain. As you move through the stages and become a stage two dumpy and quite possibly a stage three dumpy, this won't be quite as painful. But as a stage one dumpy, which most of you probably are during this period, maybe some of you have just moved into stage two, You really want to be trying to avoid as much pain as possible that isn't necessary. And that is why I'm hoping that today's podcast about dumper triggers, about dumper reminders will help you. It will help you avoid unnecessary pain, but it will also give you that little bit of hope, that little bit of positivity to consider, well, now I understand what is likely to be a trigger for my ex. And you will understand and appreciate that your ex, the dumper, will think of you. I know that's a big question that a lot of dumpies have. Will my ex think of me? Why does my ex think of me? What is the trigger for a dumper to think of me? Well, it will be the same, if not similar, trigger to what makes you think of your ex, the dumper. Okay, so when I did the poll, I gave five options. Option one was music. Option two was location. Option three was special dates. Option four was smell. And option five 
was other. And when I when I said other, if it was none of the options that I already gave you, please type into that kind of section, you know, the other option. And interestingly enough, most people who typed into that section actually aligned really with one of the others. It was just very, very slightly different. So once we consider all of these options, you now need to think of what will actually be that biggest trigger. So music, you know, it goes without saying, if you hear a certain song, it might even be a jingle of some kind, it will make you think of your ex. Location is where you go to a certain place and it makes you think of your ex. Maybe you was you was on holiday with your ex somewhere. Maybe you went to the same college. Maybe you always went out to the same restaurant. That type of thing is location. Special dates is kind of self-explanatory. It could be birthdays, Christmas, New Year. You know, it could be a specific, unique date for you and your ex. Was that the main trigger? Smell. I included smell as an option because smell is always mentioned when people discuss memories and what brings on memories. Smell is always mentioned as one of the strongest senses to bring on a memory. So I thought I'd bring on smell. You know, it could be to do with perfume. It could be to do with aftershave, cologne. It could be to do with the smell that you would smell in a, in a certain situation. Maybe the smell is the most is the most powerful trigger, but in essence is linked to one of your other options as well. And then other, of course, if it wasn't any of these, you know, please type in the comments. And as I said, most people who did actually linked with one of the others mostly. So the results were that in last place, smell was the least likely option that you chose as a trigger. And I was slightly surprised because, as I've said, smell is something which is often linked uh, when people are discussing memories as something that is very, very powerful. So smell was, was last. And second was other. So other was the second bottom in chosen option. And even the people who chose other, in reality, what they actually typed as better other option was, was pretty much linked to one of the main options. Now we're getting into the top three. And in third place was special dates. So special dates was the third biggest trigger that you dumpies decided was what made you think of your ex the most. And then we go into the top two. So the top two was quite far and beyond the other options. In second place with 32% of the vote was music. So 32% of the vote, you know, out of five options, that, that's quite a big chunk of the proportion for a second place. And therefore, you know, if you are really going through the pain, if you're really going through the grind, it's important that you don't listen to the songs that you naturally connect with your ex, because you're just going to be beating yourself up with that. There is no need for you to be listening to things which cause you additional pain. But you can think on a positive side, you know, if your ex was to be listening to one such song, then this would naturally make them think of you as well. Because as I said, the triggers, the reminders, they work in both instances. They are mirrored. So try to take a positive from that. But if you're going through the pain and the struggle, please don't listen to those specific songs. And that brings us to the first choice, number one, with a huge 42% of the vote. You know, it's approaching almost 50% of the vote out of the five options. And that is location. So location meaning that going to a certain place makes you think of your ex, the dumper. So maybe it is a holiday location. Maybe it is where you went on vacation. Maybe it is when you go to a certain restaurant. Maybe it is a certain club. Maybe you are going through a certain area. Maybe you're walking or on a bike or, you know, maybe it's just something that you like to do that way. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's somewhere you have to go to do something. It might be you're going on a walk through a certain area. The main part of this is, but you know, I just called it location and many of you, 42% of you gravitated towards the sensor. And those of you who wrote in the comments of this YouTube video, you know, please let me know. Did you match up with, with the order, you know, that, that I put in? Did you put the most common answers? Because 
location seems to be the biggest trigger for dumpies to think of their ex. And therefore, you can use this to your advantage. If you are going through the pain, if you are going through the struggle, do not go to these places. Do not go on holiday to this place. Do not go to that restaurant. Do not go on that walk. Do not go on that cycle ride through this area if it is going to really cause you additional pain. You now can use this to your advantage as a way of recovery, okay? Whether you want your ex back or not, you need to recover from the agony. And you can help yourself by not torturing yourself additionally. There is no need to go to these locations to cause you extra pain. Now, if this is a college, if this is a work location, if you are saying to me, look, I do need to go here, then of course, that is something you are going to have to do. Okay, if you absolutely have to go there, then unfortunately, that is something you will, of course, have to do. But if it's somewhere that you don't have to be, then don't do it. If you like going to restaurants, just don't go to that specific restaurant. If you like going on a walk through the countryside, go through a different place, go through a different part of countryside. Ride your bike somewhere else, go to a different club. Don't torture yourself if you don't need to. If you don't need to go to the place, don't do it. You need to be giving yourself as much opportunity as possible to feel level-headed and have a more stable mindset. 42% of the vote said location, and I'm sure some of you in the comments will probably type that as well, since it seemed to be such a common answer. So if that is the case and you have done this, you now have a clean path in front of you. But you can also rest assured that if your ex goes to those locations, if they go on holiday to the same place, if they go to the same restaurant, if they go for a walk in that similar place, they will likely be thinking of you. And you can use this positivity to drive you forward. Your ex will think of you again. Okay, they are no doubt going to be moving forward with their life and not thinking of things in as much detail as you are right now. So you are hearing what you need to avoid. They are not hearing that. And they will naturally and more likely bump into these triggers, which you can avoid. So you can avoid extra pain, whereas they probably won't be looking into it as in as much depth. And they will possibly go through these triggers, walk into it literally with location and have that trigger hit them subconsciously, hit their conscious thoughts even, and therefore thinking of you. So I hope you can use this podcast as positivity. Use it as a way to protect yourself. Use it as a way to understand that your ex will likely think of you in the future. Okay? There is no 100% guaranteed way to get your ex back, but you can do the right things to increase that possibility. Subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell for notifications and listen to the hints, tips and advice I can give you to increase that possibility of you finding happiness once more. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back, or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah, Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back, or move to the next. Ain't no sweat. You know Vincent Bo got you finding love. Ain't no problem. Yeah, date me that tips. Check it out now. Thank you.